As the battle over critical race theory curriculum heats up in the state of Virginia, one dad has decided to throw his own hat in the ring for a school board seat. What's been happening over the last couple of years and what's in the school system is very toxic. So you can call it what you want, but I think we need to get back to academics. We can all sit at home and complain about what's going on, but I think it's my duty to step up and actually put in my name for school board. Loudoun County father of two, Michael Rivera, first announcing his big news on Breakfast with Friends yesterday, and he joins us now. Good morning to you, Michael. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Thanks for coming on. Why do you want to be on the school board? Well, I, I think uh, myself included, a lot of us sit around and we complain about what's going on in the government, local government, and all sorts of other political actions, and we don't ever really get out of our comfort zone and do something. So. Uh, I discussed this with my wife in detail, and we said, we've got to do something. This is the life of our child. This is the life of the children in Loudoun County. And as you can see, this is a trend that is uh, across the entire United States. Well, you announced it last night at the school board meeting. What was the reaction? I got some cheers from my supporters outside because uh, we're not allowed to be in the school board meetings. And so we set up a uh, screen and some speakers outside uh, in order to hear what the speakers were saying. And we also had independent media filming the actual speakers as opposed to the camera being pointed towards the school board. I don't really address the school board anymore because they've shown to be extremely disrespectful in terms of looking at their telephones and uh, messing around with notes on their desks. So um, I think it was a pretty good reaction and I got some uh, high fives when I, when I stepped outside. Why is the school board so liberal? Are they beholden to these teacher teachers unions? I'm, I'm not quite sure. If you follow the national trends, you could probably infer that. Um, and I would say follow the money. Mm -hmm. uh, teachers unions uh, live off of dues. And if uh, teachers aren't following lockstep or move to private schools, there'll be a reduction in revenue. Um, so I don't want to speculate about what's driving the school board. I just know that we need to absolutely get back to pure academics and and really care about what the children want mm -hmm. as opposed to what political forces are driving. There was an op-ed in the Washington Post, and this is the headline. It says, parents claim that they have the right to shape their kids' school curriculum. They don't. Randy Weingartner, who is the teacher union boss, the um, number two teacher union in the country, she retweeted it and wrote, great piece on parents' rights in public schools. What's your reaction? So I made it a point to reread the article last night because I had read it a few days earlier. Randy Weingarten doesn't really have a lot of credibility. She was for masking kids. Uh, she's for vaccinating kids. And immediately, if you go into the article, there's a hit on the Republican Party, which tends to diminish the credibility of the article. They said the Republican Party tends to suppress votes. If you wanted to talk about kids and their parents and rights, you wouldn't have put that statement in there. Uh, I don't know the, the folks that she quoted in there are saying there's precedence for parents not having control over their children's lives, but it is dystopian and disturbing to think that the state should be controlling our children's education solely without us having any influence on them. Well, Michael, thank you so much for joining us. We wish you all the best with the school board. Thank you very much for You're having welcome. me. You're welcome. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.